Welcome back, data enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into using visualizations for exploratory data analysis, EDA, essential for data cleaning and preparation. So grab your favorite plotting tool and let's get visual. Before we jump into the fun stuff, let's quickly define what EDA is. Exploratory data analysis is all about getting to know your data. It's the step where you dig deep to uncover patterns, spot anomalies, and test hypotheses, all before you make any assumptions or build your models. Now, why are visualizations so crucial in EDA? Well, as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Visuals help us see the story our data is telling at a glance. They make it easier to identify trends, outliers, and the relationships between variables. Trust me, staring at rows of numbers just isn't the same. Let's explore some of the key types of visualizations you should have in your EDA toolkit. Scatter plots are fantastic for examining relationships between two continuous variables. For example, if you're analyzing the relationship between study hours and test scores, a scatter plot can help you see if more study time correlates with higher scores. It's a great tool for easily determining if there are outliers in data. Just draw a trend line. In this example, you see one outlier marked as a red dot. Histograms show the distribution of a single variable. They're perfect for understanding the spread and central tendency of your data. For instance, if you're looking at the ages of your survey respondents, a histogram can show you the age distribution. Histograms can be helpful when wanting to see the tails of the distribution, which makes cutting off your data or resegmenting it much easier. In the example, the upper bound is at 58.50. Box plots or box and whisker plots are great for summarizing the distribution of a data set and identifying outliers. They display the median, quartiles, and potential outliers in your data. They are especially useful when comparing the distributions of multiple groups side by side, unlike histograms. We can see from the example that each group has an outlier. They are at the age of 60, 70, and 80, respectively. For categorical data comparison, bar charts are your go-to when cleaning and preparing data. Want to compare the sales of different product categories? A bar chart will do the trick. It is also the best chart for identifying missing data. One look at this chart and you will see there's no data in the home and kitchen product categories and toys categories so you can investigate that. Heat maps are excellent for visualizing data in matrix form. They're especially useful for displaying correlations between variables in a data set. The color intensity helps you quickly spot strong relationships. In this example, visibility and humidity are strongly correlated. On the other hand, there's no correlation between temperature visibility, wind speed precipitation, and wind speed visibility variables. In addition, you can see there's also some negative correlation, for example, between humidity and temperature. There are plenty of tools out there to create these visualizations, each with its own strengths. Some popular ones include Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Plotly libraries for Python. Great for detailed and customized plots. ggplot2 for R, excellent for creating complex multi-layered graphics. Tableau and Power BI, ideal for interactive and shareable dashboards. Excel, simple but effective for basic visualizations. Here are some practical tips to make your visualizations more effective. 1. Keep it simple. Avoid clutter. The cleaner your plot, the easier it is to understand. 2. Label clearly. Ensure your axis, titles, and legends are clearly labeled. 3. Use appropriate colors. Colors should enhance, not distract. Use a color palette that makes sense for your data. 4. Be consistent. Use the same style and color scheme across your visuals to maintain a professional look. And there you have it, folks. Visualizations are a powerful tool in your EDA arsenal. They not only help you understand your data better, but also communicate your findings more effectively. So next time you dive into a data set, remember to let your visuals do the talking. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more data science tips and tricks. Hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy plotting. And go on to stratascratch.com to get data science resources. Thank you.